What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 17.5 beta 2 to registered developers and soon to public beta testers. Now along with this release, we also got the second beta for iPadOS 17.5, watchOS 10.5, macOS Sonoma 14.5, tvOS 17.5, visionOS 1.2, and then we also got the second RC build for the older macOS versions 13.6.7 and 12.7.5. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS 17.5 beta 2. Now you can see the size of this update came in at around 565 megabytes on my iPhone 15 Pro Max coming from beta one. Now let's check out the build number for this new update. So if we go into our settings, general about the new build number is 21F 5058E. So we have an E at the end of the build number, which indicates we likely have at least two to three betas to go before the final release. And if you check out the modem firmware, that is unchanged from beta one. So it remains at 1.60.00, at least for the iPhone 15 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 17.5 beta two? And the first thing is that EU users can now download applications directly from websites. So we mentioned this a few weeks back when it was first announced, but it was not actually implemented into iOS 17.5 yet. But now with the release of beta 2, it's live and available for those in the EU. So if you want to download an application from a third party website, you can now do so. Although I would imagine that it's very limited right now, at least until 17.5 gets released to the public. And this update also fixes the placeholder text bug inside of our settings battery. And then right here in beta 1, you can see we have this placeholder text that said charging title and short optimized and you can just see that was placeholder and then when you tap into there we also had the bug on beta 1 with all the placeholder text but that has now been resolved with beta 2. In the news application we now have leaderboards so I mentioned this in beta 1 but this is the first time getting this pop-up here on beta 2 so it says introducing leaderboards see how you rank among friends and other solvers in game center so that is a new pop-up at least for me in the news application and if you go into news here and then go to following and then to puzzles, this is where you will find that. So you can go onto the leaderboards right here and it will show you the leaderboards for specific games. If you want to see the new quartiles game leaderboards, you can see amongst your friends and also amongst the global players, which as of now, there's only 339 players since this is only available on 17.5 beta one and beta two. Also 17.5 beta two apparently fixes the mail banner notification bug. So I didn't know about this until somebody over on X reached out and confirmed that this has been fixed in beta 2. It was an issue since 17.4 and he says that when an email is received, a badge would still appear on the app icon, but the banner notification would no longer appear when the email is received. So apparently that was a bug before, but that has been fixed with 17.5 at beta 2. So if you had a similar bug or the exact same bug, let me know in a comment down below and if beta 2 fixed it for you as well. So one thing that's still missing here in 17.5 beta 2 is the stopwatch dynamic island animation so if you go into your stopwatch here in the clock before on a 17.4 beta a previous beta we had a animation up in the dynamic island for that stopwatch but for some reason that never even made it to the final version of 17.4 and it hasn't even appeared at all in beta 1 or beta 2 of 17.5 so it's hard to say if apple is ever going to you know put that back into the software or if they're maybe just waiting until ios 18. now a big change in ios 17.5 beta 2 is not going to seem like a big deal to you if you've been out of the loop but if you've been paying attention to some of the viral posts over the past week or so when you typed in jerusalem to the emoji search Search right here a Palestinian flag would show up as a suggestion and that caused major backlash on social media there were several viral posts about this and now it looks like 17.5 beta 2 has fixed that because when you type it in there are no suggestions for the flag and this was also included in the code of 17.5 beta 2 so it looks like it's not just going to be a server-side fix in the release notes for 17.5 beta 2 we have a resolved issue for an accessibility bug that was a known issue in the beta 1 release notes and then there's also a new known issue for 17.5 beta 2 related to 
the wallpaper. So it says add new wallpaper sheet does not load any content after restoring device. So there is a workaround for this where you just need to reboot and change the wallpaper from the lock screen. And I'm sure this will be fixed in beta three, but that is a new bug in 17.5 beta two. And then as far as the overall performance goes, performance is fine for me on 17.5 beta two, but it's really no different so far from beta one. Of course, it's too early to tell for sure if the performance is the same. I am going to run a quick Geekbench test here to see if we score any higher than a beta one. But just for my first impressions, it feels about the same as beta one to me. But let's see what these Geekbench scores show. All right, so we scored a 29-29 on the single core and a 72-57 on the multi-core. So you can see how that compares to previous runs is actually higher than what we scored with beta one. You can see the beta one scores down here. So looks like we might have a nice little performance boost here with beta two, but time will tell. I will let you guys know how performance is holding up in my Apple Weekly episode. And then in terms of battery life, it also seems like we might have better battery life here on 17.5 beta two, because I've been paying attention to the battery up there since I installed the software and since I started this video. And it looks like we have more battery life remaining than I typically do nearing the end of these videos I do. So we might actually have better performance and better battery life here on beta two versus beta one, which may seem obvious, but a lot of the times that's not entirely the case. So you guys will have to let me know how battery life and performance is for you. But for me so far, it seems better on both ends, which is nice. And that's not something I typically say here in these what's new videos. And then finally, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So just like we predicted, we did see 17.5 beta two, two weeks after the release of beta one, right on the money there. Now I would expect Apple to switch over to a weekly release schedule from here on out until the final release of 17.5. So with that, that means that we should be seeing 17.5 beta three next week on April 23rd. And now that, of course, it could be any day on the week of the 22nd, but Apple does typically release software, at least beta software on Tuesdays. So we might very well see that. And we could actually see that along with the new iPads being announced as well. So after that, I would expect to see potentially even an RC the next week, or we could get another beta after that. Whatever the case may be, I would not expect to see 17.5, the final release, until some point in May, most likely around mid-May, but it's too early to say as of now. So it could be the week of the 6th, the week of the 13th, or at the very latest, the week of the 20th. However, I do think we're going to see it before the week of the 20th, but we'll see. Of course, that's why you guys keep it locked to the channel. I will keep you updated on everything related to the new software, but that is iOS 17.5 beta 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future iOS updates videos just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.